Good morning, guys. This is a brand new video of my time in Tehrona. This is a little bit different of how I film because the walk was kind of excessive, but hang in tight, sit down, watch. I'm going to explain to you all the details of my time in Tehrona. First, I want to talk about the entrance fees. To get inside Tehrona, it's going to cost you 53,500 pesos. With that, you have to buy medical insurance that's 5,000 pesos. If you're planning to spend the night, it's going to be 10,000 pesos. And medical insurance has to be paid for. Keep in mind, you want to use cash at this place because cash is king at this particular location. Once you've got that all taken care of, now the real fun starts. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Be prepared to walk two hours. This is going to be the longest two hours you'll ever walk in your entire life or even in Colombia. But during this walk, it's not that bad. You get to see a lot of cool things like these monkeys that are trying to take my cell phone. You're going to see different types of animals because Tehrona is a biosphere for over a thousand types of different animals. Other people walking a little faster than you, which is okay. It's not a race, but this type of walk, you're gonna be within a group. And this group is going to guide you to multiple different parts of Tehrona. And you're gonna see beautiful beaches, beautiful sightseeings. If you wanna take a picture, you can do that too. How you feeling about this hike? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> about one hour in, the tour, the walk is going to change drastically within every five minutes. At some point, it's gonna look like the beach. The next five minutes is gonna look like a Harry Potter film. The next is gonna look like Lord of the Rings, which is kind of, kind of crazy when you think about it. I think a good point that my friend brought up was bringing refreshments. Uh, it was a great idea that we thought of bringing water, uh, some fruits to kind of stay hydrated along this walk. We kind of knew since it's going to be a two hour walk, it's going to take most of our energy before we get to the actual beach. So don't forget to bring sunscreen. The sun rays are pretty strong too as you get higher to the beach. Find this indigenous area of Colombians where they're cutting coconut water or juice. Um, at this point, they told me to kind of not record, so I had to kind of put my camera down. If you see this sign, congratulations, you've made it through the two hour walk. Give yourself a pat on the back. At this point, it looks like a movie set on a new Hawaii Five-O film. Just a little bit further, you're now going to reach Tehrona. And let me tell you, this place is incredible. And for Colombia, I couldn't even believe what I'm seeing, but it's beautiful. Okay, so let me give my thoughts. After two hours, I'm finally here with Manny. That hike was kind of like a hike slash walking tour. It wasn't that bad. It's very doable. If you got bad knees, then you kind of screwed. It's okay. We're finally here. And let me give my thoughts on this real quick. This video is about your worth. Is it worth it to come here? Absolutely. It's incredibly beautiful. It's a, it has its own biodiversity. There's plenty of animals to see. If you're into walking, hiking, then this is for you. But as far as like the actual tour that's separate from this, I, I would not recommend. It's actually a lot cheaper if you come here by yourself. You see, we paid 100 Colombian pesos and I'm trying to figure out what exactly do I get out of that for this tour that's completely separate from Tayona. What we got is just a pickup from our place at 6 a.m. We got dropped off at the entrance. No food is involved. It's an all day thing from about 10 to about five. You get a tour guide, but that doesn't actually tell you anything exactly about Tayona. In fact, I don't know anything. In fact, I know more about this place from the research I did last night. The tour guide actually just guides you throughout the entire place, but you don't actually need one. If you just follow people or the path that's kind of nar narrowed for you, then you can make your way to the very end. So it's actually not necessary. What hurts the most is that lunch is not involved and you know how I love my french fries guys. No lunch is involved, no breakfast. Water is necessary because it's such a long walk. You're gonna be dehydrated 
halfway in. But don't worry guys, like I said, you can either take this tour, which is cool, or you can come here yourself, however you want to do it. Separating the fact that we are here and here to enjoy. This place is beautiful and I've never seen anything like this in Colombia. Aside from Cartagena's beach, Santa Marta's beach, uh, I don't think there's a beach in Medellin, and the water in Guatepe. <laughs> when she heard that joke, she is... Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh really? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Okay, I want to talk to you real quick about the end of the trip because unfortunately I couldn't record it. You have two options. Either you can walk back, which will take another two hours, or you can do like we did. We took a boat, which was like a boat of about 15, 20 people that you have to pay for. And to get on this boat back to, not to Santa Marta, but to Tapaganga, Ta Taganga, something like that, Taganga Island, cost me about 70 pesos, which is a lot. But I would rather have the comfort of going on a boat rather than walking another two hours back to the very entrance. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't record this part uh, because the waves were so crazy and so strong, it would have knocked my camera out of my hands into the water or it would have just damaged my camera completely. So unfortunately, I couldn't record the sequence of us getting back to the island. But I wanted you to know you have the options of either walking back or taking the boat back to the island. And some at some point in my mind, I thought I could film it. I don't know why. I was getting ready to film it with my cell phone. I thought I was about to be like a simple boat ride back but it's not that so just keep that in mind if you do take this boat ride you're gonna get wet you might even get sick even when I think about it now I would have rather walked back two hours and take this boat ride back which I don't think was really worth the the money or, or the the convenience it was actually very inconvenient taking this boat ride in conclusion is it worth it I think so only if you spend uh, some time there doing a tour for this place is not worth it i think with proper research and uh proper accommodation the experience at tehrona would be much better uh but it is what it is i don't regret this was actually a really cool place to film hang out and get some sun because of the decision that we made to take the boat back we ended up staying an extra two hours which extended our stay and had more time at the beach to enjoy versus the tour that was rushing us to leave around 12 1 noon back to the entrance so if you're going to Tehrona definitely spend at least a day or two there to enjoy because this place can't be done in just one day there's just not enough time to enjoy Tehrona as a whole you get like very small window of beach time most of your time you're gonna be walking two hours front walking two hours back very small window to eat very small window to enjoy the beach it's just not worth it as a tour but if you're going on your own definitely stay there Definitely spend some time at the other locations on uh, Tyrona, and it'll definitely be worth your time visiting. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys uh, understood the dynamics of going to Tehrona. It is a beautiful place. I would recommend it, but I would do it properly. With that being said, that is my time, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're almost at 2,000, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Good night.